What's up everyone, this is Danny from Nexus 7 Soft Monitor back with another video how to. Today I'll be showing you how to block the government, spyware, adware, and anything in between on your Nexus 7 tablet. We're going to be using Exposed. Now what Exposed is, it's a framework that allows you to easily mod your tablet without having to resort to, fr to flashing. Now it's not on the Google Play Store, so you will have to download it as an APK file. But first we should enable unknown sources and settings. So let's just go to settings, go to security, go to unknown sources and make sure the box is checked. Afterwards, you want to go to the download folder and click on the APK file that I linked to. It's called exposed installer underscore 2.1.4.apk. You just want to click on that, click install. And then click open. Now in exposed it's going to take you to the framework tab. Click the install slash update button. This will install the framework for you. You do have to be rooted so be sure to be rooted before you begin. Just click that. Click OK. It's going to tell you it's been installed. Now you want to exit out of there. We're going to go into the Play Store and download an app called PureBlock. Just launch the Play Store. Search for Pure Block. It's that one, the Cube. Now, what Pure Block for Android is? It's a firewall app. It blocks every IP address that you have in a block list. So, if you download a block list for, say, ads or spyware, it'll block that. If you download a block list for the government, it'll block the government. Um, this prevents your web browser or any app on your Android system from connecting to those IP addresses in the block list and also prevents them from connecting to you. That's how it works. Just download that and install it and click open. Now by default it's going to take you to the main window and you're not going to be blocking anything yet because you have to enable it in exposed. So head back to exposed. Go to modules and you'll see that Pure Block for Android is an option. Be sure to check the box and then you'll know it's enabled. Follow up with a reboot. As you can see, I've already done that right here, so I'm not going to do that. And after you reboot it, you're going to go back into Pure Block for Android. And then you'll see that it won't have any IP addresses by default. You actually have to download that. So I'm going to cut the video and I'll be right back. I have done my desktop computer. I went to the iBlockList.com URL I provided. I'm going to scroll down and look for something I want to block. Now if you don't know what they blocked, you just want to click on it and it will give you a description. As an example, I'm blocked the ads, the ad block list. Just copy the URL and then paste it in. Now it's going to open all of the IP addresses up. I just want to go to edit, select all, and then copy it. What I want to do now is make a new plain text document. So I'm going to open up my word editor. I'm going to edit and paste it in. Now on math, you have to do edit. You want to go and select all of it again. I'm going to go to format, make plain text. File, and you want to save it. And that will be a .txt file. You want to transfer this .txt file into the Android file system. So you want to go and open up your Nexus 7, go to the root SD card, choose pure block list, and then just transfer that file into here. As you can see, I already have a couple in here. Now I'm going to head back onto my Nexus 7 tablet. Now you downloaded the block list from your computer and you transferred it onto your tablet. You loaded it up. Now you're going to go back into pure block. You're going to go into block lists. You're going to click the button for rebuild cache block list. What it's going to do right now is it's going to load all the IP addresses, all the blocking information. Sometimes this could take a while depending on how many lists you have. Just take a note of that. Now I have been using this app for a while. So if you want to check to see if it's working, you go to history. And it'll tell you what it's been allowing and how many times it's been blocking. So if you want to see what it's been blocking, you just click on it and it'll tell you. 
Now I've been using the browser and I have two blocks. That could just tell me I've been blocking some ads or maybe it's from um, a malicious site. Whatever it could be, you could just check. Um, I have a lot of blocks from the Play Store. That's usually just ads because a lot of the stuff does have ads if the app is free. That was how to block the government, spyware, adware, and anything in between on your Nexus 7 tablet. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and check out the full tutorial on Nexus 7 Softmonitor. Thanks and you have a good day.